Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here at Con Expo 2023 and we are at the Hemisphere booth and we're here to talk about grade metrics and site metrics, the two platforms being brought to you by Hemisphere. I'm here with Randy. Randy, introduce yourself. Sure, uh, Randy Noland. I'm Vice President of Global Sales and Business Development. I'm based in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, which is our headquarters. I gotta be honest, I'm pretty excited because from what I understand, you guys are setting me up with a product demo today. That's correct. But before we get into that, Give me a little bit of background. What sets you guys apart in the GPS space? Why is Hemisphere different? You know, machine control's been around for a while. Uh, people, it's well documented all the benefits uh, that it brings to, to, to machines. Sure. And we, we thought, you know, with all of that success and studying the market, with all of the success of the major suppliers, that's still about only a 20% market penetration. So there are 80% of the market that has nothing yet. Sure. And that's primarily two barriers to entry. That's cost and complexity. 100%. So we have focused our product line to be simple, to be easier to install, easier to support. And, you know, quite frankly, 90% of your return on investment comes from the first 25% of development. Wow. And that is intersecting a cutting edge with a digital terrain. Yes. That's it. That's the real uh, main meat of where the production comes from. Yeah. So we focus on that simplicity. We have world-class GNSS performance, so we're we're very proud of that and happy to Hollow put that against in 100%. And, yeah. and uh, three-year warranty, which wow. is a, a good, very strong warranty. Yeah. Uh, but the price is, the value proposition is very unique. That is, I feel like up until this point, that's where the industry has really struggled with the adoption of this technology is price point. Yeah. And that's where you guys are really hitting hard. 100%. Absolutely. So, so yeah, so we, uh, you know, we'll show you some of the products, give you an overview, but we put 3D machine control on dozers, graders, loaders, and, and scrapers. And these are new machines. We can go old school. All re uh, retrofit to aftermarket, whatever you awesome. want to put them on. And then we also have a grade checking system to complement uh, the machine. But one other thing I think is important is our GNSS comes with all signals. So there's no activation fees. You get all available signals. So, I mean, that is also part of the value that makes it very strong. Yeah. Uh, and we also have 2D built in every system. So there is, so you get 2D, you get infill design, you get full 3D with global uh, map projections for localization. So it's a very robust package. You guys have a, a lot of stuff here. Incredible, offering. incredible product. Yeah. Well, yeah. without further ado, let's get into the product. Sounds then. great. Yep. All right, guys, we're here with Daniel Sass. He's the product manager for machine control, and we are about to do a demo of the grade metric solution. Let's let's get into it. Show me how this thing works. Sure. So this is our grade metric solution. Okay. Um, one thing that we focus a lot on grade metrics is trying to make sure that the things operators use most are right here on the front. Yeah. We want people to be able to go through the software and do what they do most often with only a few button presses. Okay. We support a lot of different views since a lot of different types of operators. Right here, this is just showing the plan. Uh, with a button press up here, you can select from various different views, and a lot of people really like plan section profile, so we'll just yep. use that. So this is, uh, we have an excavator here. As far as excavators, we support swing boom and knuckle boom with an encoder. We support tilt rotators. This is just a standard excavator right now sure. with a pretty you know big size bucket. Trying to keep everything on the front page as much as possible. We have a bucket switching tool right up here since people are switching buckets. Oh, here. wow. You know, so I don't even have to day. go into a back menu. It's just right there. Yeah, you can pre-measure all of your buckets, put them in there, and then when you switch attachments, uh, whether it's a standard bucket, a tilt rotator, anything boom, you want, boom, they're boom. all right there. Done. Um, you know, you see your cut fill right here in vertical offset. If you press and hold this arrow in a machine, it brings up our grading setup dialog where you can set a vertical offset. You can set these uh, presets right here. Oh, perfect for a one one click button. That's yeah. awesome. Um, you can change the step size. So when you hit these hotkeys at the bottom, it's yeah. just how much the vertical you know set goes by. We have this uh, dual cut fill, for instance. So you have left and right cut fill, left and right bucket. So all of that's right here. Do you have horizontal offsets as well? Yeah. Uh, you can also press a line on the you know press the screen right over a line to bring up your guideline dialog so this give you station offset towards a line okay that's yeah, so just for your stationing offset 
If you have an elevated line and you want to grade to that, just click use for design elevation if you, you, know, you have 3D line work. So that's all right there. Unfortunately, not everything will be on the front page, so we try to keep you know, just a few button clicks away. So if uh, you're one of the many operations that doesn't have 3D line work, you're not using a DTM and you want to use infield design, you can click on this button up here on the left. Brings up this screen and one of the first things that's most obvious is field design. Field design, yeah. So you can click on field design right there and it'll go into um, you know, flat pad for just specific grade, slope pads, ramps. Uh, when you build a ramp, you can either you know, select a coordinate points or you can um, follow a line. Okay. And then of course you can have as many lanes as you want at what, you know, whatever slopes you need. We have point surfaces as well, so you can upload your topo and create a surface from that. Okay. Um, we actually did put topo in the machine as well, so instead of just having topo on the base rover, it is in the base rover, but or in the rover package, we also have it in the machine, so you can click topo. Here you can, if you needed to do a topo for either a surface or for an S built, you can do it here in the software, um, you know, for S built or for volumes, any of that stuff. So here's your topo, you can store manually by interval. We have lines if you wanted to create lines. You, you've got a lot of flexibility and a lot of options here and it's only a couple button presses. I mean, it's, you're not having to dive deep in any menus. This is awesome. Yeah, so you know, at, we have grade 2D, another feature. Yeah. All of our systems are sold as a full 3D system, but if you don't have an RTK base or you're in, indoors. We you can still use 2D yeah, you can mode. Throw a layer, uh, laser on and do 2D mode. Go out to your basement, the, no problem. Yeah, either with a laser or just if you know a touch and go. Yeah. Type Excellent. of situation. So, yeah, we try to put everything here. Even opening a new job, it's it's all within one or two button clicks. It's what we you know try to strive for. So to clarify, this is an indicate only system, correct? We're not integrating correct. with the hydraulics. It's indicate only. But the advantage there is we can throw this on pretty much any machine I want. Yeah, it's an aftermarket solution that'll work on just about any excavator. And, and like I said earlier, even if you have a swing boom, we, we, we have encoders to handle that as well. So realistically, what kind of setup time are you looking at for me to bring my machine in, get this all installed and, and ready to go out in the field? It'll be done, most of the time it'll be done same day. Wow. It's, it's a one-day installation. The smaller machines are a little easier because we have our VR500 product, which is less cabling than the VR1000. So the smaller machines are a little quicker, but it should be done in one day. Awesome. And one other thing I would like to mention about our great metrics is this is our excavator. We also have a loader, a scraper, and a dozer, and it's all the same software. So with the software, uh, software activation, you can add other machine profiles so you can move your equipment between machines. Excellent, and because it's all the same software package, if I'm familiar with one, it's You're very easy to transition between the other. Yeah, so some people will buy a full excavator, for instance, and they'll wire up another machine, get the machine activation, and then move the receiver and display between machines. Excellent, thanks for the demo. Right. So Daniel, here we are at the site metrics, which is kind of your rover. Tell me a, a bit about the advantages of the site metrics platform. Well. It uses our C631 base station, which is a which has a dual band radio, supports all constellations, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beto, has the internal IMU for tilted pole measurements. Okay. It's our grade checking solution that goes with our grade metric software. It uses the same user interface, the exact same user interface as grade metrics. So, so if I'm familiar with what you just showed me over there, I'm easily going to be able to understand what's going on. Yeah, here. you'll easily be able to grade check, Perfect. store points, transfer files to the machine. It's all the same interface, so you only have to be trained and learn once. Excellent. It sounds like you've got a ton of flexibility in a really affordable package here. So if you guys are looking for a GPS solution that's affordable, that allows you to retrofit an older machine, I would absolutely check into Hemisphere, into the site metrics and gray metrics platform. Thanks for checking in, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Now is a good time to mention that if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and click the bell icon so you can see when we post more videos.